Hello and welcome back to Wonderland. We are in Reading today. We are at the Pitcher and Piano and we're going to have bottomless brunch on a incredibly rainy July day. So come on back down to Wonderland with us. Be dry. Yes. So David is here today and we're going to have a bottomless brunch, like I said, at the Pitcher and Piano in Reading. Here's the bottomless brunch menu. And tell me, honey, what did you have set up? I have set up the absolute requirement for any bottomless brunch. Woohoo! Which is our countdown. And as you can tell, this is not a 90 minute countdown. It's two hours today, so we'll see what happens. Cheers. Cheers. And we have a very special gentleman taking care of us. What is your name? My name is Adam. Thank you, Adam. <laughs> Look what Adam brought. Look what Adam brought. He brought us our own tub, so he doesn't have to keep back. We might have a reputation in this town. I don't know. What do you think? <laughs> could, could it be, I tell you. But it looks like today we have Soprano Prosecco. There it is. And it looks like it's a very, very busy Saturday. There is a game on right now, and there's a festival in town as well. So we are here. It is now 12.10. Our reservation was at 12. It takes a little time to set up to talk to you guys, but we're going to settle in now and uh, talk to you in a moment. Yeah, see you shortly. I'm going to tell you a little bit about Bottomless Brunch. We've got a hash brown nachos, breakfast brioche, a full English breakfast. Does that sound good for you? Yeah. A veggie breakfast, a brunch burger, avocado sourdough, or vegan avocado sourdough. And the price of our brunch is 34 pounds a person, and it's two hours worth of bottomless drinks. You can have Prosecco, Bellinis, Mimosas, Astral Spritz, or Pints of Amstel. But today, I know I'm going to stick with this. Good old glass of Prosecco. Oh, me too. Yay. Cheers. I just wanted to say that so far, our bottomless brunch here at the Pitcher and Piano in Reading has been going very smoothly. Adam, our server, has been wonderful. He sat us down quickly. He was very, very friendly, and he brought over a uh, Prosecco right away while we had a chance to go look at our menus. And then he also brought our own bottles so he doesn't have to keep coming back. So it's been really great. Very smooth of brunch. here on a Saturday, like I said before, it's much more of a pub-like atmosphere. We've got Rihanna playing out through the speakers. We've got a game going on to our right. There's just normal Saturday drinkers, and we're the only table having bottomless brunch here on a Saturday. What do you feel? I mean, do you feel, you feel comfortable, but it's just not the elegant brunch experience that I see so far? Yes, yeah, so I think the difference here is that the piano and pitcher is, it's not, just a, it's not just a pub, right? More like a wine bar, I guess. So it's not a, it's not a traditional British pub. No. Right? No. So I wouldn't say I'm coming here and, and it's a pub-like atmosphere. It's more it like is, an all bar one. It think? is more like an all yeah. bar one. So it is nicely done. It's, uh, yeah, the place is lovely. Right? Beautiful. Which are, and it's light and it's airy and, and all that kind of stuff, which, and it's well decorated that you can see that they've put some effort into it. It's not like an old British pub where it's very dark and all that kind of stuff. So, and this is nice and open and all the rest of it. But you're right, it is 
a lot of people come in here definitely for to drink, just to have a pint and watch the sport and all the rest of it. So, I see food! Oh, food! <laughs> We just received our breakfast, and honey, tell us what we have. What do you have here? Oh, I have, oh, should I go by the menu or can I see? You can tell me. Okay, so the nice thing is the bread is sourdough. We're seeing that more and more on uh, restaurants. Love sourdough, it's a really nice thing. Sausages are starting to look good there. Never had mushrooms chopped up and put in a little thing, but very nice. Mushrooms, baked mushrooms. beans, yeah, tomatoes. I think the tomatoes were supposed to be roasted plum tomato. Is that yeah. roasted plum tomato? Uh, it's a round tomato. It's a round tomato, but yeah, hash brown. Okay. Wah, wah, I do wah. not like hash brown. Do not like hash browns. I love well. them. But for you, I will eat the hash brown. Well, I will try it. I will eat it. I'll give my honest opinion. I, what is it? Well, just just think about a uh, Waffle House. All it is is hash browns but in a cake instead of hash browns like at the Waffle House. Yeah, but what is it? It's potato. Oh, potato. It's just potato. So all you do, okay. put a lot of lovely salt on it and then put some ketchup on there. So basically take the blandness away by putting flavor with it. Absolutely. I get it. I think it's like french fries. Ah, okay. Yeah. I will try it. Yeah. I'll see what it's like. I'll give my opinion. Oh, yeah. Looking beautiful. Yeah, but we all know the big thing here is the sausages. How do the sausages do? And look at you got fried eggs. I know, I normally get uh, poached, but you do? they didn't have an option for poached, actually. I don't, yeah, I don't know, but you know what? I have a poached egg. Mwah. Here is my glorious meal. It is avocado toast with poached eggs and hollandaise sauce. And there's also chili flakes on toasted sourdough. And I asked for bacon. And boy, did they load me up with some bacon. This looks gorgeous. I cannot wait to try this. Oh, I see a tomato. Woohoo! Yum. They give us these little butters. And that's great, that's to go on your toast, right? Normally, in pretty much everywhere I've ever been, these are like zero Kelvin degrees in temperature, which is very cold. Cold. Cold, pretty cold, like yeah. rock solid. It's, you, yeah, it's not going to spread. You, you could stone someone to death with one of these, right, normally. But here I can feel they're squishy. I can actually use one. Normally I have to put them over something, like over something warm so they melt a little bit. But at, here they're actually the right temperature. I can yeah. use this. Very nice. And those sausages look very snappable. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'll let you know as that goes on. Yeah. But that's but, nice that the butt, yeah. ooh, look at that. Very good, very good indeed. Okay. All I need to do now is map out the meal and figure out how much butter goes on each piece of toast and then figure out how much yeah. toast goes with everything else because that's what I do. That's what David does and we will leave links down below to his other bottomless crunches <laughs> and his mathematical equations on how to eat his meal. Yay! Cheers! Cheers! <laughs> I just want to say at the Pitcher and Piano, what my breakfast looks like has been the most beautiful presentation that I've seen out of the last three bottomless brunches. And David's full English is beautiful as well. Really, really nice. I'm so excited to try this. Tell, tell them what you're about to do. Hash brown. I don't like hash browns. But Dallas said, Put, Dallas said. Dallas said. Put on tomato ketchup and some salt, and it will wake it up, and it will be nice. So I'm going to have some. I'm not going to die. I mean, I could leave it. Well, try a piece that has more of the potato rather than just the yeah. There you go. Okay. Yeah, there we go. That there was definitely more salt on it. So um, the salt cellar, the salt cellar kind of was like, you know when the top falls off the salt cellar and it just goes everywhere? It was kind of like that. And so this so is going to have some amount of salt on it. Yep. But you understand, it tastes like the Waffle House stuff. You know, it's... it's it tastes like Waffle House, yeah. yeah. It's ah. just mm. a potato with ketchup and salt. Okay. Yeah, it's not bad. But I have... Mm. That's salty. Yeah. Um, and tomatoey. 
Would I have would I have it again? I don't know. I think if I was hungover, if I was hungover. Tomorrow. We'll come yeah, back. Tomorrow. Tomorrow, uh, hungover, I would definitely have that, I think. But then again when I'm hungover I probably eat anything. No, I make him a bacon sandwich. That's what I do. I make him a bacon sandwich. I take good care of him. She does. Yeah. <laughs> I am really thrilled with my meal. It's, it's a little um, not hot, but it's delicious. I had a little surprise. I know that I saw it on the menu. Yeah, of course, his, his little chipmunk cheeks are full. But the sourdough toast has been covered in hummus, so it gives such an amazing flavor and such a, a pop of flavor, actually. Now, I've got streaky bacon, which is really exciting for an American like me, but I'm also British, dual citizenship, it's all good. Uh, they have cooked their bacon over like a gas grill, so you can kind of taste that it's that way. It has nice char marks. My poached egg, it was runny, and it was so, or it is still, so incredibly generous with the avocado. I'm, I'm really, really pleased with my meal here at the Pitcher Piano. Absolutely. And he, he's just plowing through. He hasn't said anything for like the last... Yeah, I don't Six talk minutes. when we think. No, he doesn't. We've discussed this in previous uh, yeah. vlogs, but Dallas did just ask me, um, "How's your bacon?" And my response was, "I don't know. I'll get to it. I don't eat the bacon until I've had the sausages. Sausages first. He wants the best for last. Leave the best till last. I'm expecting the bacon to be the best. Yeah. So I leave that to last. It's really good. Very flavorful." Sauce. Yeah, it was supposed to have um, chili flakes on it, mm. but still, the flavors are really there, aren't they? It's, it's a good it's flavor. It's got a little touch of chili in there. Yeah. Very, you know, it's for the masses, obviously. Most people, yeah. you've, got to, you've got to go for that. Um, we like our hot sauces. Oh, yeah. Yeah, a bit of habanero on that. Gorgeous. But and the bacon. Beautiful. First, and the bacon yeah, smoky. Yeah, That's good. Yeah. Smoky bacon. Good, good meal so far. All right then, I have just finished my meal and David has finished his meal. I will say, I'm thinking, to me, I was completely happy with my breakfast, my brunch dish, the avocado toast with bacon. The only thing that I would change, I'd make it a little bit warmer and also the sourdough, I would have it a little bit more crunchy. So I just wonder if I should ask for a deconstructed meal. Can you imagine just like a lovely, a lovely piece of crunchy toast, a pile of that gorgeous avocado, because there's so much, maybe a dollop of the hummus, I had a ton of beautiful red tomatoes. David got them all. He got them all. Threw them all over to him. I ate a little bit of tomato, but not so much. And then, the, the egg, yeah, just right there, the poached egg, perfect. But honestly, a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful breakfast. The extra bacon is what makes that brunch special at the Richard Piano special. So what did you think? It completely threw my calculations on my meal when she threw the extra tomato on. I had it all sectioned out, how much to have with everything. And then a load of extra tomato, right? So I had so many pieces of tomato there. I think she so does much. it on purpose. Sometimes. I do. I do. Yeah. Okay, so I always start with the sausage. Sausage was good. One of the nicest I've had for a while. Not quite Cumberland sausage, but it was good. So yeah, good sausage, which is always a good start. Bacon was streaky. I prefer back bacon myself, but you prefer streaky. Uh, I prefer back. Um, More fat. But it was smoked. Always nice to see smoked on there. The rest of it was, yeah, it was good. Sourdough toast, I agree. It needed to be cooked a bit more. I like it when there's a good crunch on the sourdough, but I like to see sourdough now in, in most of the restaurants. So much um, better than white toast. Oh, yeah. Let's get away from white toast. Yeah. 
the um, yeah, I was going to say the guy serving us was so attentive. He yeah, was he's, brilliant. He's awesome. Absolutely. Um, but that's not actually part of the food. So, yeah. um, baked beans, mushrooms. I'm not sure what you can do extra with those. I mean, they're just. But they're they, good. Yeah, they yeah. were good, and they came out really brilliantly. Thank you. Um, yeah, just want to say that service has been amazing here at the Pitcher and Piano. Yeah. I can't even tell you how awesome it is. Yeah, I mean, this place is. Oh, it's, a British term. British term. It's it's buzzing now. It's, it's buzzing. buzzing. It is one sixteen. We've got forty five minutes left. Yeah, most most of the seats in here are now taken, but he's still the guy who's serving us. Serving us is wrong. He's I think he's the. the he's head he's the guy. Yeah, he's, he's the dude. The yeah. um, he is so attentive. He's brilliant. I'm watching him do all the tables at the moment. Um, but the place is busy, and yeah, there's no letdown in quality of that, which is really nice to see. Sometimes you get a place that they just can't cope. We hit, we had that in a place a while ago. We just discussed that. I did want to say on my avocado toast, I believe there was a whole avocado on my toast. They did not scrimp on avocado. I mean, huge amounts of buttery avocado. It was glorious. Yeah. Lovely brunch. Lovely, and, lovely, lovely brunch. And they're hard to catch, those avocados. They run fast. Yeah. Yeah, get a whole one, you know? He's dried. He's definitely dried. Our brunch here at the Pitcher Piano in Reading has been an absolute right on. Yep, absolutely. Going with that. I've had such a lovely time. My food has been beautiful. The atmosphere a little loud. Lots of sport, lots of music, but it's okay. The company was lovely, of course. <laughs> yep, yep. We got to celebrate our 13th anniversary once again. But yes. A very nice time at the Pitcher Piano. Now, honey, yes. would you be okay if I booked us here again? Yeah, absolutely. And the fact yeah. that I have no reservations in that, the fact that I go, yeah, absolutely, yeah. shows that there was there was nothing that was detrimental at all. Yeah, it was, it was a great experience. So, once again, I haven't received our bill yet, but for 34 pounds a person, you get an entree. Two hours of bottomless drinks, which once again could be Prosecco, Bellinis, Mimosas, Astral Fritz, plates of Amstel for 34 pounds a person. And I will let you know, we got a welcome drink of our Prosecco and our host, which the gentleman was our general manager. He gave this to us first and then said, hey, do you want to double up and I can get you a cocktail. So he's taken such a great care of us and we're so happy with that. So definitely we will be back. 34 pounds a person. We'll be back. Yeah, absolutely. No problem at all. So thank you once again for joining us down the rabbit hole into Wonderland and we look forward to taking more content and let us know where you'd like us to try different bottomless brunches. And we will, presently. And, yes, like and subscribe. Yeah, like and subscribe, because please. Because if you do, it costs you nothing, but it adds to our subscribe account, which means we can reach more people. And we are close to our one-year anniversary, so let's get those likes and subscribes up. Yeah. Thank you again, and we'll see you next time in Wonderland. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.